Hello people, this is the Oz Monster once again with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Yeah, we did the story mode in the last one, so... And we're still going to continue with it until the end. At the end, I will do around the zombies. You know, see how it is. Because, because the commercials look awesome. It's just started. Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. That's smart of you. the objectives. The man's always gonna be better than the machine. Unfortunately, you sustain life threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up. <laughs> I like that new feature. I'm glad they brought that back. That, you know they have the little... <laughs> hey! Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. They go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. Ah. Uh. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident set back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. This is awesome. And you've got a long way to go. Well, thank you for asking me for my permission if I wanted hardware installed on my head. RPG! 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down. I can see that. They took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor. You're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I want to talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, we're hot. 
Mark the floor with these guys. All right, now we're into the action. Ability. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. Oh, this thing. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Attack mode will highlight the inbound threats. Oh, ain't coming. Grenades. I thought I killed that guy. Never mind. Okay, yeah, that one that time that was my fault. Okay. Who shot me that time? I think the game just hates me now. Ah, you shot me. Payback. I thought all the bad guys were supposed to be dead. I will do this. Attack mode info is seen across the team. If one of us sees something, we all see it. Even to cover. Keep moving up! Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. I'm getting used to this now.
Any more hostiles? I should have switched to my pistol. I should have switched to my... DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. Get to know. These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open. I get it. I can't access the drones now. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. True. That would be extremely bad. I'm going to get a different gun. The three bursts is good enough, but pistols are not effective as they used to be. Suppressors. Second level. If you want to get creative, you can use remote hijack on those doors. There we go. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. It takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD.
Alright. Can't pick up their guns. That sucks. Hey, where'd he go? The faction's hideout is just ahead. Once inside, interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Okay. Okay. Just take a second. Deep breath in and tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shh. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. D and I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside, at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. You had me freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Hmm. So... Ah, here we go. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. Ramal was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome! Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. Keep going! I still have line of sight. Our boy's hacking the ZSF talents. What does that tell you? He's running scared, not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. I see now why Taylor likes you. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train.
suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a bug coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Really? Dead. Believe me. This is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. Holy crud, I'm having deja vu. I dreamt of this last night. Few minutes ago you knew nothing what do you know now i know where they are they're using the old train tunnels to plan their attack hmm but you just learned that your dni took the zsf weeks to uncover what do you think i'm gonna say next outcome train go boom it's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to i think it's time we moved on ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. They're sick. They really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet Diaz a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. Remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? And this is over? You owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weapon. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Heh, <laughs> like an XCOM. Really? He was dead. <laughs> the most fun you can have with your pants on, right? I'm starting to like you. Is there a way through? 
Like up here? Nope. Through the hole. Side arm is still a stupid. Hey, that's different. That is very different. They're using smoke grenades. I got a burst me. going anywhere. Somehow I knew. Party ain't over yet. Let's move. I got bots moving that rail car. Shred them.
This actually got works well. Well, he's dead. Looks like they got into the water treatment plant through here. On me. No, I'm just trying out weapons because I don't know what everything does. Oh, I picked up the one shack. Well, this actually comes in handy against those things. Interface with that door for me. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. And this is why the this is why everything being linked to a single network is bad. You want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord neural network initiative. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. 
All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me, I'll consider you as much. Take them as another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on the bots. Watch your flank! They're coming through the windows! Well, I died fast. The one All shot right, king. Trust me. They'll consider you as much. Take down another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on those bots. Watch your flank. They're coming through the windows. That's how you I like how all the holographic people are just doing nothing. Concussive. Ah. Oh. Wait. Really? Concussive wave did jack. Now they're dead. Well. Stupid phone calls. Oh. Come on! The neural network prototype is in the car right below. Maybe shield about six inches of CNT, but that won't be. Aiming with a shotgun is an instant kill. What to do? Yeah, but I'm also almost dead. Oh, whoops. No security bots, and there's the bomb. The whole thing's booby trapped. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much! Even with the computer in my head, there's not enough time! It's actually very simple. Wait, wait. This is a magnet trap. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... There was no way to stop it and get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Sometimes, you have to let go. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. Being prepped for surgery now. 
okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. Sheesh. Well, that's some crazy action, and that was awesome. <laughs> the prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Edwards? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. Do you ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. That was awesome. And the good thing is, as I keep going along, <laughs> playing the story mode, I keep unlocking a lot of cool stuff. And upgrading weapons. And pretty much anything else I can find. See? Hey, okay. Anyway, okay, yeah, I gotta stop messing around. <laughs> Wow, I missed four collectibles now. Yeesh, that's not good. Eh, I'll probably come back to that and start collecting the items. I'm a collector. Real life and in the game, in a sense. Okay, anyway, this is the Oz Monster signing off. Until the next video of Black Ops. See ya.